Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about changing the admin and user dashboard layout. So let's see how can we change the admin and user dashboard layout. You can see here, this is the admin page. Now let's apply the template layout on this admin page. Okay, so for that, go to the project and first of all, uh, go to the layout folder. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, layouts, and here let's create a new layout file. Uh, let's say layout file name is admin dot blade dot php dot php. Okay. And now let's open this one app dot blade dot php file, and let's select all the text from here and copy. And paste inside this admin.blade.php file. Okay. And now from this file, let's remove this line of code. Okay. And also remove this body. Okay. Uh, first of all, just cut this stack and paste after this body tag and now just remove this body. Okay, collect this. Select. And just remove. Okay. And now go to the template directory. And uh, just go back and from this admin folder uh, let's open index.html file in vs code okay so just open with visual studio code and from this template file let's copy this css link okay this line of code and just copy and paste after this all right now go to the again uh, template file in this HTML file and from here let's copy this body copy and paste uh, here okay after this closing head tag and now cut this stack and paste inside the body okay just before the closing body tag and now uh, let's add here the asset method inside the uh, CSS uh, script and image UI. Okay, so just to select this and press Ctrl plus D. Okay, and now add your double curly bracket asset parenthesis single quote. And now just close here so like this okay now let's copy and paste in every css uh, href okay and also paste here okay and now inside the script uh, src just add here double curly bracket asset and then now select this press control d okay single quote parenthesis and close double curly bracket okay now inside this file uh, let's find find the main tag so Control F and main there is no main tag, so let's check. This is the menu. Okay, this header section and here is the
main content okay this main content so after this main content just add here add the date email directive and inside this you'll just pass in the content okay and now collapse this tip main content inner and cut this okay and remove the extra spaces and now go to the uh, admin index view file so just go inside the view directory admin index.blade.php file and inside this section content section just remove this line and paste here okay all right now save this file and now go to the admin layout file and let's find the menu dashboard link okay this is the products link dashboard link okay now just select this and press ctrl d and now add here the route for the admin dashboard route so right here route and inside this route method just pass here admin, admin dot index okay and now for the logout link this is the setting link user coupon okay first uh, save the file and uh, let's check this so and one more thing uh, in, inside the index blade.php file and uh, let's change here the layout name so just write here layouts dot admin okay now save this and let's check so switch to the browser and refresh the page okay asset is missing so go to the template directory and let's copy this css font icon images or js folder okay so just select this and go to the project directory right click reveal in file explorer okay and then public folder and now just post paste here all right now let's check again so press the page and you can see here the admin dashboard page okay now let's add here the logout link so after the setting so we go to the layout file and here let's copy this li and paste here change here the text logout okay and uh, before this anchor tag i uh, just add here the form method post and action action is equal to double culture packet route and add here the route name logout okay and also set the id of the form to logout form now close this form and just start to this closing icon okay and now inside this form just pass here the ads at the rate csra and also copy this route and paste inside this anchor tag hrm all right and now after this just add here the javascript on click method on click and uh, let's submit this uh, lower form on this link click so just write here event dot event default and then uh, let's access this form by id so copy this id 
and write here document dot get element by id and pass here the id which is logout dash form and then call the submit method submit okay event dot event default and uh, document get element by id and then submit right now let's check this link so save the file and uh, refresh the page now just click on logout link and you can see here successfully log out all right if i log in again click on this link and here is the admin desk all right now uh, let's log in with the user credential user click on this link and here is the user dashboard now let's apply the template on this user dashboard so for that i'll go to the uh, admin index view file uh, sorry user admin index view file so let's open this user folder then open index.blade.php file and from here just remove this line and now go to the template directory and this is the admin folder now go back and here is the website folder and from here let's open my account uh, in text editor so let's open this this code okay and uh, from here inside this file let's find here the main tag okay this is the main tag now just collapse this and select copy and now go to the uh, user index view file and is inside this content section just paste here okay and now let's select this evil tag and cut this and inside the user folder let's create a new view file uh, let's say the view file name is account dash nav that blade dot php okay and now just paste here now save this file and inside the user index view file just to render this account nav view file okay so for that just write here uh, at the rate include directive include and path of the file so write your user dot account dash nav okay now save this now inside this account the dash nav dot letter php file now let's add here the dashboard link so just remove this and add here route user dot index and for logout let's add here the form method post okay and uh, action sorry action action is equal to about logout okay and uh, also set the id form logout form okay and now after this oh, sorry cut this form and uh, put this form inside this airline okay and after this closing anchor tag just close the form okay and uh, here at the rate add here the, at the rate csrf and now on the click event um, also change this link and just copy this logout link and paste here
now on the on the click event and let's copy this line okay this event on click event and just paste it okay and it is the same so okay and now save this file now it's done so let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page and you can see here the user dashboard template has been applied okay dashboard now click on logout okay it's working and let's log in with admin credential you can see here the dashboard admin dashboard okay and uh, if i log in with user credential click here and you can see here the user dashboard okay so in this way you can change the admin and user dashboard layout so that's all about changing the admin and user dashboard layout so don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching